Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So I made this video a while ago talking about how you're not going to need this anymore once you mod your switch, but that video is a bit outdated, so I thought I'd remake it. So whenever you mod a switch and you want to go back into custom firmware, you're going to always need to use one of these things. But if you lose this, it's a bit of an inconvenience. Now what this thing does is it allows your switch to go into, I guess, a mode where you can allow custom firmware to boot or you can inject a payload into it. And this is the tool that allows it. But if you lose this tool, you're kind of screwed. So how can you... I guess boot your switch without ever needing to use this and have this only as a backup. What you need to have is a modded switch first off with Hakate fully running on here. So once you have that done, what you want to do is you want to go into tools right here. And what we're going to go is we're going to go into RCM right here. And you want to make sure you have auto RCM on. Now, what happens if you have auto RCM off, it's basically the same exact procedure where when your switch is off and you turn it on, it just boots into normal switch OS and you have no modded firmware. But now if we press turn on, whenever we turn our Nintendo Switch on after it's turned off, it will not power on at all. It'll show a black screen now. But the thing is, it's already set to get uh, injected a payload. So let me show you an example real quick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and power off real quick with it fully off. So let me show you guys my computer screen. As you can see, it says no RCM on right now, or we'd have nothing plugged in because nothing is plugged in. But now watch what happens when I plug my switch in. And as you can see, there is no jig. So let me just plug this in. And then we're gonna press the power button right now. And there you go. We did not need to use the RCM jig at all. And now things booted. But as you can see, even though I press the power button, my screen's still black, but it is on. And that's because it's in RCM mode, meaning you don't need the jig, but this is good if you don't want to carry this and all you're going to really need is your Android phone to boot the payload into your Switch. So what you do is just press inject payload and there we go. We're back onto the Switch right here. So this is something that's good to have if you don't want to go around carrying this thing because the thing is kind of small and you can tend to lose it. But anyways, I hope that this was a quick video that helped you and thanks for watching and goodbye.